Hey guys, I guess there was a new update that was released last night. Uh, there was a lot of freezing issues and the old wizard was causing some issues. So the way to do this update, go ahead and scroll over here to maintenance. We're going to go over here and select Fire TV Wizard. Okay, that's alright for that to happen. Then you're going to go ahead and go to Program Add-ons. Because that Fire TV Wizard old uh, wizard basically is, is done. So just go ahead and select Program Add-ons. We're going to go to FTG Wizard. Go ahead and select it. We're going to go down to Builds and select. Okay, now up here it says Cody version. If yours says 16 point anything, then you need to come down here and go to Jarvis and select this one here. Um, looks like no Fire TV build Jarvis ATM. So if yours is actually 16 one, wait on that don't do this update yet. It will be up soon, I'm sure. But if you have 17 point anything, like FireMC, you should have Krypton. So you're going to want to do 17 point anything. Like here, there's uh, 17 point zeros. Okay, so there's four servers here. And then there's also four light builds. You don't want the light, you want the full. So I'm just going to hit server 4 just because. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select fresh install. You're going to hit continue because it's going to reset your Kodi configuration to default. Okay, right now it's cleaning everything. Actually has to delete everything first which is fine, don't be afraid, because you'll get it back. Now, if you did the last update that was on the 6th, I believe, then you should be okay with doing this. If you did not do that yet, then um, look on the comments on this video, and I'll have a link for the other video, and then when you do that update, this update will automatically be done. Okay, so looks like the download is automatically already going. We have an ETA of 152. Um, about every 60 to 90 seconds, make sure that you hit the down button or the up on your uh, Fire Stick remote because you do not want this to fall asleep during this process. Very important, do not walk away, do not let this happen by itself because if you do or it has an error or something and you weren't there to see it, you will have to start over. I'm going to go ahead and let this download, and then I'll come back. Okay, this part is almost done. Okay, now this is the second part of the installation process. This is, every, all the files are just extracting. Same thing, make sure you're either hitting the up button or the down button every 60 to 90 seconds. Okay, so that part actually completed. Um, so here it asks if you want to force close or reload. Go ahead and hit force close. So now it kicks you out. So now you're going to go ahead and reopen. Okay, and you are done with the update. Okay, so, if you want to, okay, this part here is just thanking you, um, it's telling you that they're back on Facebook, and of course it's, uh, this is a, 
a free uh, free build. Um, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and hit dismiss on this. Now, this is the part that I like to I customize all the sticks to make them run a little bit better. Uh, all this stuff that's happening is normal. Just let let it do, let it do its thing. Um, if you don't care about the customization, then you're done and go ahead and have fun and enjoy. Uh, but I like to do this part. I don't like uh, live streams. Uh, that always causes issues. Um, the kid stuff you can find on on any of the other. TV shows. Incursion is really good. Genesis Reborn is really good. Uh, you can find any TV shows. You can find uh, whatever you need on those. Same thing for movies, Incursion or Genesis. You can try these other ones if you'd like. Uh, Not Sure is a really great add-on made by uh, the Great Will, the one who created the build. But this your, your boy Scott, that's actually the guy who's taking over now. Uh, so if you want to keep Kids Corner, you can. Just know that all that stuff is in either Incursion or Genesis or these other great add-ons that we have on here. Uh, now the sports, I like to get rid of that as well because you can find all that in Mobdro, which I've put an app on most of yours. If you don't have it, just ask me and I'll tell you how to get it. Okay, so let's start the uh, customization process. Scroll to system and select it. I'm going to go down here to interface and I'm going to select it. I'm going to come down to screensaver. Right now it says screensaver mode dim. Uh, if I have a movie or a TV show paused, if I'm away for three minutes, it will go on to a dim uh, screensaver and I'd rather not that so I'm gonna hit OK and I'm gonna hit none that way there is no screensaver and it will stay there forever now I'm just gonna hit the back button I'm gonna scroll up to services and I'm gonna select I'm gonna hit the up button so I'm on weather scroll over here service for weather information just select it. These come up. Um, I haven't really gotten used to Weather Underground, but you could try it if you'd like. I'm going to select Weather, Yahoo Weather. Then I'm going to come down here to Settings. Come down to Location 1 and select. You're going to type in your zip code. Mine is 95336. This is your enter button. Go ahead and select that when you have your zip code. This comes up. Make sure which one is yours. If you live in France, happens to be yours, whatever. I'm going to select this. I'm going to come down here to OK and select. Now I'm going to hit the back button. Now remember you can pause, you can rewind, you can watch this, whatever you need to do if I'm going too fast. Um, I actually go probably about five times faster than this, so uh, I am trying to slow down for you guys. Um, I like to go into add-ons, go to available updates and select. Uh, extended info script, that doesn't work on Krypton. So what I do is I select it and I come over here and I hit uninstall, then yes. That way I don't have those pesky notices on the bottom. Extended info, uh, update failed. Uh, Confluence, that update's been failing, so make sure that this auto update is not checked. This is what it looks like it is, if it is. You do not want it checked. Back out, hit the back, hit the back button again. Come over here to media and select. Come down to videos. I go up and come over here to show empty TV shows. I like to check that because uh, in some of the add-ons it'll give you the option to look at like season specials, which is season zero. Uh, it's like extras, bloopers, uh, interviews, stuff like that. 
um, show movie sets. You don't want just Star Wars, you want Star Wars 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so then after you do that, hit the back button. Come over here to Player and select. Um, down here it says Display 4.3 Video as. 4.3 Video is a lot smaller, so you want to select that, and you're going to hit Stretch 16.9, which is what more, most normal wide TV screens are. Select it. There are times that you select a movie. If you don't do that, then you'll see a real small screen on the TV. And you don't want that, so this fixes that. I'm going to hit up and come over here to scale text, teletext to 4.3. Again, if you have subtitles or anything like that, or uh, teletext, which is actually in when um, a guy speaks in another language and you see subtitles that are imprinted on the video they come out small. I don't like them small, so I'm going to hit scale teletext 4.3 off. Then I'm going to hit left, scroll down here to language. Preferred audio language, if you speak Punjabi, you speak Spanish, you can select this and change it to whatever you want. I speak only English. So I'm going to come to the scroll bar and come down here to English. And I'm going to select then I'm also going to go up, and I'm going to hit Auto Download First sub Subtitle. Um, when you do this, that doesn't mean that it's automatically going to, to download a subtitles for you. If you don't like subtitles, this does not automatically put them on for you. We'll do that later. Um, I do like subtitles, but that's this is for when you do decide to use a subtitle late at night when you're ready to sleep, you don't want to bother anybody, whatever. Um, I'm going to come up here. I like to make the size of the subtitles at 30. I also like to change the color from white to blue. You can change it to whatever color you want. Now I'm going to hit the back button. Okay, now this is where we're actually going to customize the skin. We're going to select skin settings and select it. Um, over here we have Ghost White and Shadows. So I like blue, so I'm going to hit Ghost White. And you see where the skin default says blue? Or it is in the color blue. I'm going to select that. Uh, but just so you know, there's also blue down there, aquamarine, uh, blue violet. There's a million different colors. Whatever you want, you pick. But I'm going to hit Skin Default. Um, OSD color. That's the uh, the color of how far the video is, the TV show, the movie. Um, let's say three minutes of fifth of 150 minutes, or the load. That's going to be green on this. I actually want that to be skin default, which is a lighter blue. So that's what I'm changing it to. Again, you could put whatever color you want. Then I'm going to hit left. Come down here to Home Menu Items. Scroll over to Menu Item Number. And I'm going to hit the down arrow, which it's already on. I'm going to go to Menu Item Number 4. Hit Live Streams. Select it. Hit Clear Menu Option. Again, I said I don't want kids. You can have it. Um, on this thing, of course, uh, I'm going to scroll down to Kids Corner. Select it. Hit clear menu, come down, I don't like the sports on here because I don't use it, clear, whatever you want to clear, you can clear, whatever you want to keep, you can keep, uh, miscellaneous, that's just, that's going to be uh, religious stuff or also um, uh, workout videos, I don't really watch that stuff so I get rid of that as well, um, and because we set the weather, we're going to come to menu item number 12, which is System. Come down to Widget Set, select it, and hit Weather. And that will give us uh, those icons of what today, tomorrow, and the next day of the weather is going to be. Um, let's see, I'm going to scroll. I did go left to go back to Home Menu Items. Scroll down to Submenu Choices. Take a look at these here. 
to on the down. I'm gonna go to the TV shows. Those are okay. All in one. Those are okay. Let's see. All these are good. Now, let's say you wanted to keep uh, miscellaneous and you don't speak Spanish, but you want your religious. So you just go to Adrian List and select it. And then come down to hide item and select. And now that won't be there. Um, add-ons. You don't really need to remove an add-on thing or an add-on installer. There's other ways to do that. Ask me how if you want to. I'm going to select it and hide item. Select that and hide item. Okay. Now I'm going to go left and come down to add-on shortcuts. This is the stuff that's on the bottom. I'm sorry, on the top. I'm going to go down to Music and Streams. See how there's a Now Music USA and there's another Now Music. This is Now Music... Uh, a little blurry here. This other Now Music is UK. I don't listen to UK, so I'm going to get rid of that. Come back over here. Miscellaneous again. You can get rid of the fitness if you want. Whatever you want to do is up to you. I'm going to come over here, add-ons, FTG images, I'm going to leave that, UST TV Now Guide, that's just a TV guide that you don't get to see what's on, it'll tell you exactly what's on, but you don't get to pick it and watch it, so to me it's just a ha ha ha, you don't get to watch this, so I like to clear that. Um, Earth Cam, Pulse Sabers, not really sure what those are, but I'm going to leave them there for now. Okay, everything's good. Now I'm going to hit the back, back button, back button again. Okay, everything here is good. Come here to the favorites. Uh, the total cleanup. Go ahead and clean the packages and everything, clean all. That should be in your favorites already. If it isn't, contact me and I'll tell you how to do that because um, it's nice to add favorites wherever you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the power button and that's going to leave your customizations in sync. takes a while to close for the first time. And that's it. Alright guys, so now your uh, Fire TV Guru has been updated and it's also been customized. Thanks for watching. Please contact me if you have any questions. Alright.